I, as a teacher, as a mother, a grandmother, uh, I love to tell a story. As, as a kid, I used to uh, uh, hear a story from my grandmother. So I would like to share a brief story for you. There was a young prince, name was Aru, uh, name was Puru, and he was very handsome and young, and one day he was chasing a lion, and he reached to the forest, and uh, finally reached to the sage hut, and where he saw a beautiful young girl who was doing some work and playing with the animals. So he was very much uh, attracted to the beautiful, the charm of the girl, and he went and he said, uh, I am Puru, and who are you? I want to marry you, you are such a beautiful girl. She said, I am Aru, but who are you? Why should I marry? He said, I am Prince. So what? What do you know? I only want to marry the person who has some skill. What kind of a skill you have? If you want to marry me, go and learn the, uh, some skill, then come back to me. And Poor was so much passionate and so much fallen in love with the girl and he went back to the palace and gave a thought and finally he uh, learned the carpet weaving. And after some time he wove a beautiful floral carpet and went to her, gifted her and said, this is the carpet I have woven. So now tell me, will you marry me? She said, yes. Now you are a skilled person, I will marry you. Then they married and he became a king and lived happily. But after some time there was a, uh, when the Puru went outside his kingdom and he met an enemy and who got him imprisoned and he put it in a secret place. And after some time the enemy whose name was Akku, he said, um, we have decided to kill you. Is there any last wish? He said, yes, I want to make a carpet. Carpet? Yes, for my wife. And uh, I just want you to send it to her and I want to hear the reaction of her. Then only, whatever you want to do, you can kill me. I am ready for that. So he wove, a, he, all that sort of things were given to him and he wove a beautiful carpet and sent it to uh, his wife. And within a week, the Akku came with all his battalion and put attack and uh, imprisoned the enemy king and relieved his husband, Puru, they came back. The, now the role is reverse. The Puru asks to the Akku, now we have decided to kill you, what is your wish? He said, I am confused and, what, and curious to know how your wife came to know the place, secret place where you were imprisoned. He said, do you remember the carpet? Yes. And I made it in your prison. Yes. And I sent a message about your kingdom, about my location. And she was able to decode it. That's how, rest of the story, you know that. So the moral of the story is the skilled, which both have Puru as a carpet, a weaver as a Aku, the fighter, and managing the uh, kingdom. So they were able to survive. So skill is very, very important. Whatever the education, whatever the career, whatever the path you go, one skill is must, which is taught by the recent pandemic. Everyone has learned the cooking, so many things which we have never imagined. So the skill is very important. And if we talk of a traditional Indian textile, which I... So I just want to tell you, being a historian and uh, all kind of a artifacts which you are going to see, I have handled, I have seen that Indian traditional textile is sustainable and it has come long away to the present state because of the skill, weaver, artisan and... Uh, Embroiders. So these were the things which we have found from the Harappan civilization. That the cotton we have found, the seed, the fabric and the dyes. So apart from the cotton, we don't have found the wool. But the important tool 
to weave a carpet which we have uh, i have just narrated the story the one tool is required to weave for the carpet hand knotted carpet that tool has been found at various sites of harappan and this kind of a tile covering on the floor so that appear from the one of the site which gives the impression that they were very very artistic bent of mind people harappans and they have a concept of decorating the floor also this was the tool which i was talking about and in the harappan phase it was exist and found from the sites and still carpet weavers are using this tool and the same pattern which we have seen in the floor tile appeared in the pot and the same pattern appeared on this elephant jewel which you might have seen because you are in jaipur so many elephant and nifal jewel you have seen so similar pattern appeared in the second century bc on the elephant jewel then the same textile the same pattern appeared on the textile which was traded from western part of india to the southeast asia so the journey of a pattern the journey of a skill and if we talk of a skill knowledge jaipur is a wonderful place even not only jaipur entire rajasthan and if i just quote one we have a lot of karkhanas and anything if i just mention one pag i really admire a lot and it can tell you a lot about the person the caste the religion the uh, occasion the day and the fashion it's how they are wearing and i feel very happy and look forward that how proudly they wear the costume of in rajasthan so that's a amazing part and it appeared not only today but it, it was worn by the Sh- jahangir and his wife so uh, that kind of traces you you keep on occurring in the art of it and one more example of the textile i want to mention that the ikat textile everyone knows about the ikat textile which appeared on the ajanta cave paintings which is the most tedious one that you have to tie and dye the yarn before the weaving which is most tedious and took months and very patiently very meditatively you have to do the entire design and uh, you have to tie the yarn and then simple weaving is there so the best is in the uh, pattern the gujarat the first one and it's uh, so much precious that it become a wedding saree for the gujarati some of the community in the gujarat and the second one is when it reached to the odisha it was offered to the lord jagannath and the odisha script script was woven so that was the innovation the weavers they have come up in odisha ikat is woven but for the lord jagannath then when it reached to the andhra in the pochampalli beautiful colorful vibrant sarees are made and the other things were made but uh, similarly in the andhra itself there is another center chirala where they come up with a beautiful innovation that is telia rumal which is used by the fisherman community and uh, being since they have to work so hard in a different ways so they need a fabric which has a oil based so the weavers the dyers they come up with a solution that if we dip the yarn for 21 days with a particular oil and it will last and that will help you for a climate condition where you work so that that's how the telia rumal came up and when the nizam say, uh, saw that telia rumal he was very much impressed but he said do the some embroidery so lot of zari work and tela work and many things were appeared in the same telia rumal so this kind of a emanation innovation has been doing the only thing is the demand it's a question of demand and supply and the another aspect which i want to focus here is the natural dye india was known for the textile traded textiles and that to be hand painted hand printed and natural dye was used and which has ruled not only the european market southeast asian market 
and the Arab market in the 15th century onwards or maybe 10th century where the examples are still available. But before that, literature says in the 1st century AD it was traded to the Rome also. So the main thing was the skill of doing it, printing or painted. And the second thing was the natural dye and which the uh, present printers, they have stopped, they have reduced doing it. Once they received the chemical dye, which, which came somewhere in 1860s, so means last quarter of the 19th century. So a lot of problems came up because of that. But if we switch to the natural dyes, so it is not only better for the environment, but for your own health, the allergies, the rashes, the kind of issues we keep on hearing because of the chemical diet. I'm not saying each and every chemical dye is reacting like that. It depends on body to body and climatic conditions too. But we can reduce that. We can reduce that. So interaction with the artisans is very helpful. And artisans keep on inspiring us by paint, doing the painting where the goddesses Parvati is doing the kantha work, the embroidery work. So sit with the artisan, interact with them, understand their problem. You are in a guard of the artisans. So if you know them, definitely if you understand the problem, you will be able to solve them. That is the whole story. So let's work together to understand our work. Beautiful work. We have the resources. We have the skill set. And as I have traveled a lot all over the world, and the kind of skills we have, we are thankful that still they are maintaining it and they are doing it. So we have to take it further, do some innovations, help them and come up with a which is beneficial for them, for us, for our health, for the mother health also. Thank you so much.